What's up, TG Squad? Today, I'm going to be ranking the 10 multiplayer maps on a scale of 1 to 10. Or my preference. This is my opinion. Um, I'm going to be ranking them 1 through 10. 10 being the best, 1 being... Uh, it, it sucks. Um, but, comment down below your favorite map and if you agree or disagree with some of the uh the ranking the rankings of these maps um so we're gonna get right into it um some of these i can't even say so i'm, I'm gonna go with al bagra fortress <clears throat> al bagra fortress okay so there's couple lanes um there's like two two middle buildings that get kind of overpopulated with people i'm gonna give it <clears throat> i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a three it's not my favorite map um it's grown on me a little bit it's not grown completely on me yet, but a solid three. I'll give it a three. Three out of ten. A couple choke points. Um, yeah, I'm sticking with three. I'm sticking with a three out of ten. That's what I'm going to give that one. Three out of ten. Um, it plays decent. Yeah, 3 out of 10. Alright, we're going to move on to the next one. Breenberg? Breenberg? Hotel. Um, I really like this map. It plays really good. There's the right side of the map. Well, I guess it depends on what side you, you spawn on. Um... At this angle, if you look at it from this angle, and this is where you spawn, the right side of the map plays really well. I like the lanes that you sh can shoot. Um, there's not any real complete choke points that if you hold, you win the match. Um, there's one area that gets populated right in the middle of the map. Uh, it's like the front desk area of the hotel. But other than that, it plays really well. Um, I'm going to give this a solid... A solid 7 out of 10. I really like this map. I like the way it plays. Uh, 7 out of 10. Crown Race Ray. I haven't played a ton on it. I've played probably... Maybe... Maybe eight games on it. It plays decent. Everybody didn't like it from the beginning. I, I don't know why. The first time I played it, it, it wasn't bad. I, I didn't mind it. Um... I'll give it, what the heck, what the heck just happened, <clears throat> alright, let me get back in that, but that map, I'm gonna give a solid 5, I haven't played it enough to, to really hate it, I haven't played it enough to really like it, if that makes sense. Um, but I think it plays good there, there's a left side, a right side, and a middle so it plays like a normal Call of Duty map three lanes um, the, the middle gets a little populated it's I'm gonna give it a five <clears throat> L Asilo I don't know 
you let me know in the comments if I'm butchering these names. I'd, I'd like to know how to pronounce them. Um, but that's what we're going with. I like this map. I like playing this map. Um, that main building is the hot spot. That is where everybody goes. Um, it can be very campy. In the middle. Um... People don't really run the outside. The only time that they really run the outside is if they're, like, sniping and they can hit you from farther away. <clears throat> then you typically have your snipers on on that backside. Um, and uh, there's, like, a... There's, like, a tower on this side of the... On the right side. So, yeah, I mean, sniper-wise... It might be alright for them. But I play. I'm running gun. I'm in the middle. It plays good. I like this map. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a 6. A 6 out of 10. I might have to go into points here. Because I'm, I don't want to give like too high of a rating. <clears throat> 6 out of 10. I like the way it plays... Um, I think you have an issue with all the maps with, like, spawn trapping, in a way. Um, the, the spawns are not ideal. They're okay, but they're not ideal. But yeah, I, I give it a 6 out of 10. Embassy. Oh, embassy, embassy, embassy. Do I like it? Do I not like it? I like it. I like this map. Um, one main building that everybody runs into is this one. The building, the building itself has like two lanes. There's like two hallways, and and then an upstairs. There's a lot of places to mount, so it's easy to it's easier to get your like mounted kills. I like that. Um, it's really half sided though. It's one side versus the other. There's not really l lanes you can run. I mean, there is right side, left side, and then straight up into the building. <clears throat> um, I do like the way it plays. I'm going to give it a five and a half. Uh, like, I don't think it's quite a five. I don't think it's quite matching six. Five and a half. I'm going to go with a five and a half. Um, it, I mean, it plays just like this next map plays. But this next map is on point. I'm kind of biased. This, this next map is my favorite one. Farm 18. This is my favorite map um, so far. Uh, you have a building on the right side from the now if I say on the right side on the left side it's from the angle that we're looking at at the map so the picture that from the picture we're looking at the right side that building in the in the distance um, you can play that building you got good lanes to shoot down um, the left side has like a sandbag um, Kind of like a the shooting range from um, oh damn what Call of Duty was that was that Black Black Ops hmm I'm not sure um, but it's got like that shooting range shooting bag type on the left side. And then in the middle is close quarters. It is hectic. Um, and I think... I think this map fits just about any play style that you want. So if you want to be quick, you want to be in the action from the get-go. You want to go storm in that middle building. 
plain and simple. Um, you want to stay back a little bit. You kind of want to strategize. You use that right side. It's a lot of cover. Um, there's a lot of things to hide. Uh, you can go up in that building. You can see down both cross lanes. So if the, the maps are going like this, and you got the you got the building, the right building, and then the sandbags, you have two lanes that go across. You got their side and, and the other and our side. Um, from that building, you can see down both lanes. So if you want to play it like that, you can. Um, the left side is, I would say it's kind, it's kind of medium. You can push up in there real quick in the sandbag area. Um, if you want to hold off, it's, you can see, they're like many lanes. Um, so it kind of fits every kind of, every kind of play style, this one map. Um. I'm I'm gonna rate it high. I really like this map. I really like the way way it plays. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a nine. Nine out of ten. I like this map. This map is really, really good. I like the way it plays. Yeah. I'm in, I'm giving it a nine. I think I think it's a solid nine. Yeah. Alright, this next map. <laughs> Mercado Las Almas. I think I'm I'm butchering these names. I, they just don't even sound right. That Mercado Mercado Las Almas That's my final answer. That's the one I'm going with. This map. This map plays good too. I I, I like this map. Um not my favorite map. Farm 18 is my favorite map. Um You got a middle lane. That is is hectic. It's like a little shopping area. It has like quilts and and fabrics and I don't even know what else. Like it's some cages and stuff. Um, it has that middle lane? There's a building on the left that if it gets occupied, it's kind of hard to. To, after it's occupied with a bunch of people, it's hard to get inside that building and take that building over. So if that's how your opponents play, it's going to be kind of difficult to get that building um, because of the angles they have from that building. And the only entryways in there is down an alleyway and then through an open area so it, it's really hard um to get in that building um the right side has a little house building but you can't really there's not many shooting lanes from the right side building um it, it plays it plays r really good it ends up playing good i'm gonna go with an eight. I'm on with an eight out of ten. I like the way it plays. It plays decent. Um, trying to think if there's any more I want to want to include in it. Play it. It, it plays pretty good. I want to play it. And then this is the last map, I believe. Um, you know how they say, save the best for last? Uh, they didn't listen to that at all. Oh, actually, it's not the last map. I lied, I lied, I lied. 
It's not the last map. But this is by far the suckiest map they have. And it is called Sant Santa's... Santa Cena Border Crossing. This is absolute garbage map. Like, I want to give it... Like, I kind of want to be a little respectful. I really want to give it, like, a, a point two, But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to give it a 1. I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. This map sucks. The cars constantly blow up. You run beside a car, it blows you up, it kills you. Um, there's, you literally, there's so many little things to hide behind. Um, it's hard to see your enemies even coming. Because the cars are all the same height as, as your enemies. Uh, there's one lane pretty much up the middle through all the cars. The cars are just constant, they're just all... They're everywhere. <clears throat> um, there is a right side of the map where it's like a... Like a hallway or like a walkway type deal. Um, that everybody pretty much stays in. And it's just a constant... You run in there, you're going to either end up getting shot or... You're going to be the one shooting. Um... I don't know why it keeps booting me out. Like, I'm not... I'm moving. I'm... Like, I'm moving. Private match. The, the map is not good. It's not good at all. One out of five. It... it like, I back... I try... I like, I back out. I don't... I don't even want to play it. It, it, it's bad. It's bad, bad. Uh, one out of ten. Uh, Torak. I want to say Torak. Plays decent. Um, at first, I didn't. I didn't really mind this. Uh, this map, at all. Um, the more I play it, and. I would say grinding weapons on this map is not the greatest. So grinding for gold is not the greatest. Because there's like certain things you gotta do. Um, there's It's hard to mount on things on this, on this map. Like there's things that you go up to and you're like, Oh, I should easily be able to mount this. And you can't. Um, I'm... This is a decent map. There's one building in the middle that everybody takes. Um, and they try to hold it off. Simple as that. The outsides, the the outer rim is a more open area. That's buildings that are practically blown down or bombed. or and it, The map looks exactly what the map looks like. That whole outside is just run down, little nooks, little little crannies. Um, there's a, a big op like open area in the middle, um, like it, on the other side of that building. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a six. I like the way it plays. It plays all right. Um, 6 out of 10. And then, this, uh, this is the last one. Oh my god, why, why do they make them so, like... Zarqua? Hydroelectric. This map plays good. I, I like the way this map plays. Um, I really like that there's like a... So you have the map and then you have like an outside feature. 
on the map. Um, also, this map also has a underwater feature where you can pop out like a freaking gopher out of these like water holes that are spread all the way around the map. That's I don't like that. I don't like maybe just because I haven't really implemented them into my game style. Um, but I, I like the design of the map. The map looks pretty cool. It plays good. There's three lanes. Uh, I don't think any like certain area gets really heavily populated. I think the battle is, is pretty spread out on this map. Um, it, I guess it just all depends on what mode you're playing. If you're playing Team Deathmatch, then yeah, the, 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 the battles are spread out. If you're playing, obviously, something like Hardpoint, you're going to be in one area and everybody's running to that area um so i guess i mean i guess that's with all the maps but let's base them all off team deathmatch this one is the most spread out and the most spread out in in gunfights there's never really one area that they're just kind of chilling in um it plays good I like it. I'm I'm gonna give it hmm. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. I like the way I like the way it plays. Um I usually run like the left side down around the rocks. I kind of, I try to stay to one side of the map. Doesn't always work out in my favor. Um, but there's like, the left side that I run, you could go down below. And then pop up on the back side and, and come from, you flank them, pretty much. And I like that part about the map. You can flank. Um, there's not really, there's what, like two, three three kind of camping spots where it's like uh it's two buildings and then there's like a broken down building everybody camps on that left side um well other than that i'm gonna give it a yep so uh, seven and a half i'm gonna give it a seven and a half <clears throat> and Yeah, I think those are good. I think those. I think I'm. I'm confident in all my answers. Yep. But by far, this is the worst map in my opinion, and this is the best map in my opinion. Um, there's a couple of them that you know play good. They didn't quite in my. And, and this is just my opinion. Um, but don't really quite mount up to farm 18 whoever designed this map should probably quit because it's terrible like if there was a percentage on how many times like how many people play this map like it, it would probably be under 20 percent just saying but yeah, let's end it with the with a view of the best map. I'm I'm confident in my answers. I like my answers. I gave some kind of some valid points. How it plays. <clears throat> yep. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, this Farm 18, I'm probably gonna have to play, play a game on this map. I wonder, what happens if I go back out? I've seen a thing where it says join. I 
Oh, you need a code. Yep, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for the video. I appreciate if you stayed this this far into the video. Um, comment down below what your favorite map is. I want to know what your favorite map is. Um, and then let me know if you agree or disagree with my answers on the maps. Um, but with that being said, I appreciate everyone who likes the video, has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that sub button. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, we're trying to grow and grow. So let's get to uh, let's get to a hundred. That's our first milestone. Hundred subs. Let's get there. And with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next video.